UConn Fall Sports Special. Sponsored by Riscassi and Davis, Connecticut's personal injury law firm. Welcome back to the UConn Fall Sports Special. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Joe Zone. Time to shine the spotlight on the UConn men's and women's soccer team. Channel 3 sports reporter Unqua Sonia joins us now with a look at the men's squad. Unqua. Well, Aaron, Joe, UConn men's soccer has a legacy of excellence. I mean, they made three trips to the NCAA quarterfinals last decade, but they're trying to get back to the dance for the first time since 2018. But let's just say there's more to their goal than meets the eye. Winning in soccer takes 90 minutes of intense action, but it only takes one moment to change it. It takes a lot of work and preparation, but you can't forget to have some fun along the way. UConn men's soccer drives on. Familia, smile to the camera. <laughs> I came in with a group of 10 freshmen. We were all living on the same floor. We could walk down, knock on each other's door. The relationship was great. It's more family oriented, very close vibe. But you can joke around like anything flies here. We accept every personality. And, you know, that's how it should be. The Huskies have won three national championships in men's soccer. And head coach Chris Bondi played a huge role in the Huskies' last title run in 2000. He won the Herman Trophy as the best soccer player in the nation that year. And now in his second season as head coach, his goal is to get UConn back on that stage. For me, coming back here is just one of those things where I have an opportunity to continue to have this program move forward. I think to come back here was 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 a no-brainer, and I think for us, ultimately, um, you know, we'll be judged if can we get another championship back here to, to Connecticut. Freshman forward Lucas Almeida grew up watching the Huskies. And the reigning Gatorade State Player of the Year is living his dream. I want players, great players, but to finally play on this field and score. Um, and people watching me is even better. It's surreal that I'm scoring goals at the stadium. I want games. The Big East is one of the toughest conferences in college soccer. The Huskies believe that sticking together will take them all the way. And you know, togetherness, if we're fighting together, defending together, we're going to attack together, we're going to celebrate together. As long as we stay together, I think things will come through. UConn's already knocked off St. John's to start the conference slate, and they're hosting Villanova tonight. And they've got the Big East tournament in their sights in November. I'm on Kwasonye. Joe, Aaron, back to you. All right.